Andrea C. Zalpino, Wikipedia article audio. Andrea C. Zalpino was an Italian physician, philosopher, and botanist. In his works he classified plants according to their fruits and seeds, rather than alphabetically or by medicinal properties. In 1555, he succeeded Luca Guini as director of the Botanical Garden in Pisa. The botanist Pietro Castelli was one of his students. Cesal Pino also did limited work in the field of physiology. He theorized a circulation of the blood. However, he envisioned a chemical circulation consisting of repeated evaporation and condensation of blood, rather than the concept of physical circulation popularized by the writings of William Harvey. Biography Philosophical Works Cesal Pino was born in Arezzo, Tuscany. For his studies at the University of Pisa his instructor in medicine was R. Colombo, and in botany the celebrated Luca Guini. After completing his course he taught philosophy, medicine, and botany for many years at the same university, besides making botanical explorations in various parts of Italy. At this time the first botanical gardens in Europe were laid out, the earliest at Padua, in 1546, the next at Pisa in 1547 by Guini, who was its first director. Guini was succeeded by Cesal Pino, who had charge of the Pison Garden 1554-1558. When far advanced in years Cesal Pino accepted a call to Rome as professor of medicine at University of Rome La Sapienza and physician to Pope Clement VIII. It is not positively certain whether he also became the chief superintendent of the Roman Botanical Garden which had been laid out about 1566 by one of his most celebrated pupils, Michel Mercadi. All of Cesal Pino's writings show the man of genius and the profound thinker. His style, it is true, is often heavy. Yet in spite of the scholastic form in which his works are cast, passages of great beauty often occur. Modern botanists and physiologists who are not acquainted with the writings of Aristotle find Cesal Pino's books obscure, their failure to comprehend them has frequently misled them in their judgment of his achievement. No comprehensive summing up of the results of Cesal Pino's investigations founded on a critical study of all his works has appeared, neither has there been a complete edition of his writings. Seven of these are positively known, and most of the seven have been printed several times, although none have appeared since the 17th century. In the following list the date of publication given is that of the first edition. His most important philosophical work is Questionum Peripatetic Aram Libri v. Cesal Pino proves himself in this to be one of the most eminent and original students of Aristotle in the 16th century. His writings, however, show traces of the influence of Averroes, hence he is an Averroistic Aristotelian, apparently he was also inclined to pantheism, consequently he was included, later, in the Spinozists before Spinoza. A Protestant opponent of Aristotelian views, Nicolas Torellus wrote several times against Cesal Pino. The work of Torellus entitled Alpes Cesi, etc., is entirely devoted to combating the opinions of Cesal Pino, as the play on the name Cesal Pinus shows. Nearly 100 years later Cesal Pino's views were again attacked by Samuel Parker, in a work entitled Disputations de Deoet Provide Ntia Divina. Medical and Physiological Works Cesal Pino repeatedly asserted the steadfastness of his Catholic principles and his readiness to acknowledge the falsity of any philosophical opinions expounded by him as Aristotelian doctrine which should be contrary to revelation. 
In Italy he was in high favor both with the secular and spiritual rulers. Cesal Pino's physiological investigations concerning the circulation of the blood are well known, but even up to the present time they have been as often overestimated as undervalued. An examination of the various passages in his writings which bear upon the question shows that although it must be said that Cesal Pino had penetrated further into the secret of circulation of the blood than any other physiologist before William Harvey, still he had not attained a thorough knowledge, founded on anatomical research, of the entire course of the blood. Besides the work Questionum Peripatetic Arum already mentioned, Reference should be made to Questionum Medicarum Libri Duo. Botanical Works His most important publication was De Plantis Libri 16. The date of its publication, 1583, is one of the most important in the history of botany before Carl Linnaeus. The work is dedicated to the Grand Duke Francesco I de Medici. Unlike the herbals of that period, it contains no illustrations. The first section, including 30 pages of the work, is the part of most importance for botany in general. From the beginning of the 17th century up to the present day botanists have agreed in the opinion that sees Alpino in this work, in which he took Aristotle for his guide laid the foundation of the morphology and physiology of plants and produced the first scientific classification of flowering plants. Three things, above all, give the book the stamp of individuality, the large number of original, acute observations, especially on flowers, fruits and seeds, made, moreover, before the invention of the microscope the selection of the organs of fructification for the foundation of his botanical system, finally, the ingenious and at the same time strictly philosophical handling of the rich material gathered by observation. Cesal Pino issued a publication supplementary to this work, entitled Appendix ad Libros de Plantis et Quaestiones Peripateticas. Cesal Pino is also famous in the history of botany as one of the first botanists to make an herbarium, one of the oldest herbaria still in existence is that which he arranged about 1550-60 for Bishop Alfonso Tornabono. After many changes of fortune the herbarium is now in the Museo di Storia Naturale di Firenze at Florence. It consists of 260 folio pages arranged in three volumes bound in red leather, and contains 768 species of plants. A work of some value for chemistry, mineralogy and geology was issued by him under the title De Metallicis Libri Trace. Some of its matter recalls the discoveries made at the end of the 18th century, as those of Antoine Lavoisier and René Just Howey, it also shows a correct understanding of fossils. The Franciscan monk Charles Plumier gave the name of Cesalpinia to a plant genus and Linnaeus retained it in his system. At the present day this genus includes approximately 150 species and belongs family Fabaceae, subfamily Cesalpinioidae which contains a large number of useful plants. Linnaeus in his writings often quotes his great predecessor in the science of botany and praises sees Alpino in the following lines. Geology Keys keys hic extiterit primos conceded honors, cos alpine tibi prima qui serta dabit. Sources As mentioned above, De Metallicis Libri Trace was of value for mineralogy and geology, displaying a correct understanding of fossils. Charles Lyell's Principles of Geology states that in 1596, Cesal Pino, a celebrated botanist, conceived that fossil shells had been left on the land by the sea, and had concreted into stone during the consolidation the soil. 
This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Herbermann, Charles, ed. Article name needed. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton.